This is a training overview for the LifeFlow Plus blood and fluid infuser. Please refer to the IFU for full use instructions, indications, and warnings. This is uh, paramedic one, trauma alert, come your way. I think we should do blood through the life flow. Okay. The Life Flow Plus includes the handle and blood tubing in a single package for easy setup. The first step is to close the clamps and spike both bags. Next, open the saline clamp. Squeeze the middle of the air check to prime both chambers and continue squeezing until fluid is at least halfway up the blood filter. If needed, squeeze below the air check ball to release it. Squeeze the tabs to open the canopy and insert the syringe, making sure the plunger is in the blue slot. Note that the milliliter markings on the syringe are visible and the inlet tubing fits into the notch. Close the canopy and remove the foam trigger lockout. With the handle pointed upward, cycle the trigger loop until all air has been purged from the syringe and tubing. Using standard aseptic technique, attach the Y tubing to the patient's vascular access. Recheck IV patency during the first few squeezes and throughout infusion. To begin blood infusion, close the saline clamp and open the blood clamp. Squeeze the air check to prime the blood tubing and squeeze the trigger loop to begin transfusing blood. Each full stroke delivers approximately 10 milliliters and total volume delivered can be calculated by counting the number of strokes or by noting the total volume remaining in the bag. You can deliver one unit of whole blood in two minutes with LifeFlow Plus. Note that one hand remains free to monitor the infusion site, assess patient response to treatment, and perform other tasks. Stop infusing while a small amount of blood remains in the bag. Close the clamp. If an additional bag is needed, connect the next unit and open the clamp. Squeeze air check to reprime and continue infusing. AirCheck is designed to stop the flow of fluid if air inadvertently enters the system. Always stop infusing if the level of the AirCheck ball starts to drop. This is an indicator that you're out of blood or fluid. If the ball reaches the bottom of the chamber, the AirCheck will seal and the trigger loop will stop returning. This means you must stop infusing, disconnect from the patient, spike another bag, and reset the AirCheck by first squeezing the middle of the chamber to refill it. Then, squeeze below the ball to release it. If air gets into the tubing below the air check chamber, you must reprime the entire tubing set before reconnecting to the patient. Do not release the ball when the air check is empty. Blood bags contain a minimal amount of air. You should stop infusing while a small amount of blood remains. If you continue squeezing for too long, a vacuum may develop in the air check chamber. If this happens, simply open the clamp on the saline bag to release the vacuum. When loading the syringe, make sure to seat the syringe in the blue shuttle. If not seated correctly, the shuttle will not engage the syringe. LifeFlow Plus can be used with 22 gauge catheters and larger when using to infuse blood. When using to infuse crystalloids and colloids, 24 gauge and larger may be used. The trigger loop provides a tactile feel and is designed to break away if excessive force is applied. This is a safety feature. If you notice a change in resistance or it becomes hard to squeeze, don't exert excessive force on the trigger loop. If the trigger loop stops moving, do not force it open or closed. Stop infusing and begin troubleshooting at the top and move down. Check that fluid remains in the desired bag. Ensure that roller clamps are open. Check that the filter is not clogged. Make sure the ball is not suctioned to the bottom of air check and check all distal clamps. Note that the quick guide in the LifeFlow Plus bag contains step-by-step -step instructions on the setup and priming of the device. When using LifeFlow Plus for crystalloids or colloids, replace after four liters or 24 hours of use. 
When using LifeFlow Plus for blood products, this device can be used on a single patient for up to four hours. Consider replacing the tubing set if the syringe slows or the filter gets clogged or per system policy. Transfuse, transport, transform patient care.